Welcome back. So last time you may remember that Zach and Jeff were working on finishing this guy off. So Friday afternoon it actually ended up getting all uh, the waxing started. So now this is Monday and um, Devin's back in the shop. So he's working on gluing down the rubber profile around the edge for the mold. And here you can see a little bit later he's got it all finished. So that one is now ready to have the mold pulled. And still on Monday afternoon Devin and Zach got this one uh, braced up now so that with the um, foam sort of glassed into place and so that'll be released soon and then they'll be able to pull the uh, matching mold off of that same plug. And one of the things we've needed to do is fill these door frames with expanding foam in order to just make them more rigid so that you can see it's basically been done there on this particular side and there you can see it in there and uh, just to give you an idea I picked up a Fleur camera now that we're mainly going to be using on the engine but this is um, a bit of a time lapse here showing uh, how Jeff was filling it with um, the expanding foam. Obviously um, it gives off heat when it's reacting um, so there you can see he's filling up the top area there now and as he does that it's got a couple of little holes drill just to let it sort of breathe out of there. Uh, but anyway there you can see it gets all hot and ultimately we got a nice uh, good fill of foam in that one and he'll be doing uh, the other areas. He's already done some of the ones on the front um, railing and the lower middle ones but um, these is the back one so nearly uh, finished on that and uh, look for forward to some more Fleur action when I get the engine running again and here are those backing plates for the door locks that you saw me drilling uh, last time so now they've been actually cut up into their various different pieces and they need to have the nut plates put on the back so here's the larger ones for the hook locks and they um, have most of the nut plates on them I actually ran out and had to order some more of this, the um, four size ones for the AN4 but anyway that's kind of um, how they look there and just to give you an idea of the matching one for that kind of lock that's basically how that's going to work and the idea is that this is um, the way that we uh, anchor the lock into the door so these plates will be bonded onto the back side of the door frames there and uh, then have a quick layup over them uh, just in one area just to hold them still so they don't move around. But anyway just a more indication of how much work there is to do with these whole design with the door locks it's just never ending all the different things that ha have to happen and I had no idea when I first designed it so anyway those are the smaller ones there um, that need to be bonded into place now. And with the locks come jigs to help us drill different things so this one is a just a block of aluminum that I got there half inch thick so I can create a jig that's going to help me or help us drill the hole for where the pin is that the hooks attached to and we're going to match drill those directly into the frame so that's what the jig looks like it sort of has the lock there but it also has an extra hole there where the hook is basically lives when it's um, in the shut position so and just I'm lining it up there so you can kind of have a look how that's going to work so when it's in the lock position you'll see those that hole lines up directly with the hook. So the idea is that we bolt this um, fixture there or this jig to the door frame. And this, I've got it sort of just temporarily set on one of the door frames and the door frames on the fuselage. So there's kind of behind where we'll still be building up um, for where the hook's going to live and there's the hole there. So once that's all built up we'll be able to use this little jig here to, to drill that hole and uh, the pin will be perfectly aligned to the door and here's the other ones there that again they need to be built up and there'll be the same treatment on those so this way we'll get a perfect alignment um, and we won't have to worry about you know the door not uh, closing correctly and next up here's the guys are uh, doing uh, laying down the black top coat for the first of these um, four plane spa molds so this is the leading edge one and they got that one uh, underway and this is a little bit later in the day after they put the two coats on there and let it all set up and here you can see uh, Zach here is um, laying out some uh, resin with Cabasil mix just to um, you know put a nice um, radius there or a nice smooth transition on where the rubber profile is and obviously Devin is working on it as well. And by the end of the day they got the lightweight layer uh, laid down and this one is actually carbon fiber again uh, because this is a high temp mold um, with the potential to actually um, cure the or you know, post cure the part in the mold itself. And uh, here's the other one that you've seen uh, Zach working on all last week, sanding on here and there. And that one's uh, pretty much getting ready for the first coat of primer. Just a few uh, little touch-ups there have been done. 
and this is the insert where the aileron control uh, transitions uh, the pressure wall through the keel there and you see I've just bedded it in with some um, resin and, and flux mix and the weights are there just to hold it in place and that'll be released tomorrow it's just create a sort of flange and there's the side stick uh, brackets that you saw that were bonded in last uh, last time just see them clear now the dash is removed and finally here's the plug for that uh, four plane uh, main spar and as you can see it uh, got primed this afternoon so that'll get um, a guide coat and uh, be on to the next round of sanding so that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching